How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some mysterious things caught on camera. But as always, before we dive in, remember to hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. A few weeks ago, Reddit user ODHB submitted an eerie piece of CCTV footage that left viewers creeped out. The OP writes that they were alerted that motion had been detected at their cafe overnight. After a thorough check of the property, no evidence of a break-in was discovered, so they reviewed the in-house cameras to see if anything was captured. Take a look. It's a little after 9pm and an unidentified shadow zips past the view of the camera. At first glance, many Redditors thought it could be a bug on the lens, but an insect is unlikely to have set the motion detection off inside of the cafe. Some commenters thought it looked like a dog running by, but admitted they had no way of explaining how a shadowy looking canine could have run through the store so late at night, then vanished without a trace. So I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers. What do you think's going on here? Let me know in the comments down below. This next one's been going viral this past week. This version was shared to TikTok by user the Money Phone Official. Take a look at what's been spooking viewers out. The woman presses her face up against a mirror to take a selfie. However, it's not long before the reflection seems to move independently of the woman. So is this just CGI trickery designed to soak up views? Or is there something more sinister going on here? Take another look and decide for yourself. In a series of chilling home security stills shared by Reddit user ThrowUpSef, a strange and eerie presence has left netizens baffled. The OP says that a nurse comes to look after their grandpa regularly. A camera in the living room captures still images whenever movement is detected. Some of the stills show the nurse walking through the living room at around 10am. Some others show the room empty. However, one still image taken at 1.23am shows something a little more eerie. There's a solid black form in the middle of the room. It lacks details or features, but you can make out a head and torso. When compared to the other images, there's a distinct lack of detail in the figure compared to the nurse, for example. One peculiar detail mentioned by the Reddit user is that a mere seven minutes after the picture with the dark figure was taken, the room appears empty and her grandpa is not present. Additionally, the Reddit user noticed a red cup on her grandpa's table that mysteriously disappeared in the photo with the figure, but reappeared the next morning. Attempting to debunk the paranormal theories, the user provides information about her aunt's presence in the house. Some images capture her aunt with a walker, and if she was standing in the same spot as the figure, she would likely appear taller. The Reddit community has been quick to offer their interpretations and suggestions. Some firmly believe that the image captures a shadow figure or even a ghostly presence. Others, however, suggest that there might be a technical glitch with the camera system or potential tampering with the images. Skeptics argue that without more concrete evidence or professional investigation, it's difficult to draw any definitive conclusions. So what do you think this strange black figure could be? Love to hear your theories in the comments down below. For those with a taste for the macabre and a fascination with the unknown, ghost tours can provide an enthralling experience. One Reddit user pushing up crabgrass shared their love for the eerie and their penchant for taking ghost tours whenever they're on vacation recently recounting a chilling encounter during a visit to Waverly Hills in Louisville, Kentucky back in 2014. 
What started as an ordinary tour took an unexpected turn when a photograph captured by their wife left them unnerved and questioning the existence of the supernatural. The user began by expressing their fondness for exploring haunted locations. Eager to visit Waverly Hills, they obtained tickets for the tour which commenced during daylight hours. The group descended the infamous body chute and ventured through the first floor, with their first stop being none other than the morgue. Listening to eerie tales, the participants absorbed the chilling atmosphere. When everyone, including the guide, left the morgue, the user took a step just outside of the room, while their wife, who remained inside alone, decided to capture one final photograph before rejoining the group. Prior to and after the tour, attendees were advised to lighten up their photos, as doing so might reveal hidden details. Several days later, upon reviewing the pictures taken during the visit, the Reddit user was jolted by a shocking discovery. As they browsed through the images, one particular photograph caused an instant reaction of terror and disbelief. The photograph in question, taken by their wife just inside of the morgue, depicted an initially darkened room. However, upon lightening the image, a haunting figure emerged. A woman with distinct bangs appearing to stare directly at the camera. The user has shared these bone-chilling images with friends and family, all of whom agree the figure resembles a woman with bangs fixated on the camera. The consensus among those who have examined the photos suggests a spectral presence lingering within the morgue's confines. For those with an affinity for the paranormal, Waverly Hills Sanatorium stands as an enduring symbol of both tragedy and ghostly intrigue. Nestled in Louisville, Kentucky, this former tuberculosis hospital has captured the imagination of believers and skeptics alike, with its dark history and alleged spectral inhabitants. Built in 1910, Waverly Hills Sanatorium was originally intended as a place of hope, offering treatment for patients afflicted with tuberculosis during a time when the disease ravaged communities. However, the facility soon became synonymous with despair and suffering, as the number of patients overwhelmed the resources available. The hospital's most haunting chapter was during the early 20th century, when the tuberculosis epidemic was at its peak, claiming numerous lives within its walls. Over the years, Waverly Hills Sanatorium gained a reputation for its paranormal activity, attracting ghost hunters, thrill seekers and curious visitors. Countless reports of eerie occurrences and unexplained phenomena have perpetuated its status as one of the most haunted locations in the United States. Among the famous hauntings associated with Waverly Hills is the apparition of a young girl often referred to as Mary. Legend has it that Mary was a patient at the sanatorium who tragically lost her life to the disease. Visitors claim to have encountered her spirit roaming the halls, playing with toys or interacting with paranormal investigators. Her presence is believed to evoke a sense of both innocence and melancholy. Another well-known tale revolves around a former nurse named Nurse Hillenberg. According to the stories, Nurse Hillenberg hanged herself in room 502 after experiencing emotional distress. Her spirit is said to linger in the sanatorium, with witnesses describing encounters with a ghostly figure or feeling an overwhelming sense of sadness and despair in the vicinity of room 502. In the midst of this haunted backdrop, the Reddit user's eerie encounter at Waverly Hills Sanatorium adds another layer of mystery to the location's ghostly reputation. So could this be a glimpse at Mary or Nurse Hillenberg? Or is there a more rational explanation for this eerie smiling face? Take another look and make your own mind up. In a startling revelation, attorney Daniel Sheehan has shared information about a crashed UFO recovered by the US military that allegedly distorted space-time and was bigger on the inside than the outside. Sheehan, who's been assisting whistleblowers like former senior Air Force intelligence officer David Grush, claims that a whistleblower disclosed details of an undisclosed program involving crashed non-human spacecraft. According to Sheehan, the whistleblower recounted an incident where a 30-foot saucer was partially embedded in the Earth and exhibited extraordinary properties. Sheehan revealed that the recovery team attempted to pull the saucer out using a bulldozer, but found that it detached in a pie slice-like shape. To their astonishment, when one of the team members entered the saucer, they discovered that it was as large as a football stadium inside, 
causing disorientation and nausea. Despite the saucer's massive interior, its exterior diameter was a mere 30 feet. Sheehan further stated that there were instances of time distortion and space distortion associated with the craft. While physicists have proposed the concept of warping space-time for advanced propulsion systems, Sheehan refrained from divulging further details such as the location and date of the incident. Additionally, he was unable to provide evidence to support the claims. As a result, skeptics have dismissed these stories as mere tall tales, citing the lack of concrete documentation and photographs. Sheehan has been involved in several high-profile legal cases, including the Pentagon Papers and Watergate, and has now focused his attention on the UFO phenomenon. He's been working closely with whistleblowers to uncover what he believes to be a government cover-up of encounters with extraterrestrials. Grash, one of the whistleblowers supported by Sheehan, claims to have provided over 100 classified documents to the Defense Department Inspector General, alleging a concealment of information from Congress. The recent revelations by Sheehan and Grush follow a series of stunning claims about UFOs in the possession of the US government. These claims began with David Grush's on-camera interview, where he alleged that the government has multiple crashed non-human craft. However, the Department of Defense has stated that it's not discovered any verifiable information to support these claims. The emergence of these disclosures has sparked considerable interest and debate, with senior intelligence officials, including former defense intelligence official Christopher Mellon and CIA scientist Dr. Hal Puthoff, vouching for the credibility of the whistleblowers. The revelation of the alleged crashed UFO that distorted space-time and defied conventional dimensions adds another intriguing layer to the ongoing UFO discourse. As the UFO narrative continues to evolve, with multiple witnesses and insiders coming forward, the question of extraterrestrial encounters and potential government cover-ups remains a subject of fascination and speculation. The disclosure of classified information and the investigation into these claims will likely shape the future understanding of UFO phenomena and its implications for humanity. Before we get to that number one spot, remember to hit that subscribe button and tickle that little bell icon there, then turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. In a recent Senate hearing, the Pentagon's All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, or Arrow, presented its findings on the hundreds of UFO sightings it's been reviewing. Dr. Sean Kirkpatrick, head of the RO, stated that while most cases are explainable, there are still numerous unresolved incidents. The hearing marked the first update since last year's groundbreaking public event and the recent controversy surrounding a Chinese spy balloon. Dr. Kirkpatrick apprised the Senate Armed Services Committee that his office is presently examining over 650 cases involving sightings of spherical or strangely shaped objects by military pilots. However, he made it clear that there's no credible evidence thus far to support the existence of extraterrestrial activity or off-world technology. Sorting through the information and prioritizing sightings observed by US pilots and drones at high altitudes pose significant challenges for the RO. To illustrate this, Dr. Kirkpatrick showed video footage from an MQ-9 Reaper drone in the Middle East capturing a metallic orb-like object. You'll see it uh, come through the top of the screen, there it goes, and then the camera will slew to follow it. You'll see it pop in and out of the field of view there. This is essentially all of the data we have associated with this event from some years ago. While the video presented an unresolved case, Dr. Kirkpatrick emphasized the need for collaboration with civilian agencies and academic resources to properly identify such phenomena. In another video from South Asia, also recorded by an MQ-9 drone, the initial sighting turned out to be a shadow image caused by sensor interference. This example demonstrated the RO's ability to resolve certain cases through careful analysis. The presentation included a slide showcasing the unresolved spherical UAP and highlighted the consistency with other sightings of metallic orbs in the region. Dr. Kirkpatrick mentioned that the case remains in the RO's active archive pending the discovery of additional data. The statistics shared by Dr. Kirkpatrick revealed typical characteristics of the reported UAPs, 
such as their round shape, atypical orientation, one to four meter size, and colors ranging from white and silver to translucent. The altitudes at which these objects were observed range from 10,000 to 30,000 feet, with speeds varying from stationary to Mark II, or around 1,500 miles per hour. Thermal exhaust was typically not detected and the objects were intermittently captured on radar and radio sensors. A map depicting reported UAP hotspots indicated concentrations along the US east and west coasts, the Middle East and the Sea of Japan. However, Dr. Kirkpatrick acknowledges that this could be the result of collection bias due to the presence of more US military assets in these areas for capturing UFO sightings. Among the shapes described in the cases, orbs accounted for 52%, while 23% were indeterminable due to ambiguous sensor contact. Only 1% of the cases resembled the well-known tic-tac shape, with 2% being cylindrical, 2% being disc-shaped, and 2% triangular. Dr. Kirkpatrick emphasized that the RO follows scientific evidence wherever it leads, and described their mission as a hunt for potential activities in the US airspace that remain unknown to them. He assured the committee that the officer's dedicated team of scientists is diligently working on each case. During the hearing, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand expressed frustration at the insufficient resources allocated to ARO and criticised the Pentagon's failure to involve the office in the recent Chinese spy balloon incident. Senator Yoni Ernst highlighted the need to address emerging capabilities employed by adversaries like China and Russia. Dr. Kirkpatrick acknowledged the historical record the RO is aiming to analyse, spanning events from the distant past to the present. While he acknowledged the impossibility of answering all questions regarding UAP simultaneously, he stressed the importance of starting somewhere. In conclusion, Dr. Kirkpatrick emphasised that while the majority of reported unidentified objects have mundane explanations, humans and sensors are susceptible to deception, illusions, unexpected responses, malfunctions and intentional interference. As the RO continues its investigations, the goal remains to enhance understanding of these phenomena and mitigate potential risks to national security. The Pentagon and the US intelligence community are actively reviewing hundreds of UAP incidents following an order from the President after the Chinese spy balloon incident earlier this year. The Office of the Director of National Intelligence recently reported an increase in UFO reports, with 510 unidentified anomalous phenomena identified, of which the RO examined 366 of them, finding explanations for a significant portion of them. If you love mysterious videos like this one, then check out our other content. There's an episode there. Otherwise, there's a massive paranormal playlist right there that'll keep you entertained. Now, remember to follow us on all our other socials as well. There's links in the description box below. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 